Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make some nice typewriter effect. This can like improve your dialogue for your game and such. So let's get started with that. So the first thing you want to do is make your GUI. So I'm going to go and start the GUI. Press the plus, insert screen GUI. In my screen GUI, I'm going to press the plus and insert a text label. You can put this text label where and wherever you want and make it look however you like. Just gonna make it look at least something somewhat nice, not completely ugly. You could just design it a little bit, do some thingies over here and over there, just like that. So now I'm just gonna rename this to label. That's not really a big change. So now in your text label, you want to press the plus, and you, want, you can put in a local script. I'm just gonna rename this to type writer so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a variable and it's just going to be script up parent so local text label to script up parent so this is just making a variable so every time we call text label it's going to be the same thing as inputting script up parent there so now we're going to make a function we're going to do local function and then you can really name this anything you want i'm just going to name this typewriter because well it makes the most sense then we're going to put in two parameters, object, text. This fir first parameter is the label that we're going to apply the um, effect to. So when we're calling this function, we're just going to put the text label since that's what we want. And then the text, obviously, it's whatever you want the typewriter effect to type out. So now we're going to do for i equals 1, text, 1, do. So this part is just, honestly, I don't know what the I spell, but I know this is getting the number of letters in the text, or this is pretty much getting the text, I guess. So, now we just want to change the text of the object, which, when you call the function, we're just going to put text label. So, it's the same thing as doing text label. So, we're just going to do object dot text, whoop, dot text, yeah, equals to string. So to string, or actually let's do string now. So this is not a good string now. So just gonna get just gonna do string now. So we're gonna input text. So we're just gonna put in the text. This is the number here. Okay, so let me just type this out. So string now sub text one and then our i parameter. So text is obviously the text that we're gonna want it to type out in one. This is pretty much like let's say the starting letter so let's say you set that to five then when we're applying our typewriter effect it's going to start at the fifth letter i guess you could say it that way now after that we're going to do a wait statement this is to add a delay in our delay what we're going to do is we could put any you could put any time in here i'm just going to put 0 0.1 i guess and that should be our function done so just uh, for an example, I'm going to put this at 5. So now we're just going to do typewriter. So we're going to call our typewriter effect or our function. Now we're going to input our object, which should be text label, since that's what we want the text to change. And then you want to put a comma and then quotation marks. And here's where you want to put your text. So here you can pretty much put anything. So welcome to the game, newcoming soldier. Soldier. Here we train to fight. I guess I don't know. Just anything, honestly. So we should be able to run the game now. As you can see, it skipped all of the letters before. So it skipped the first four letters. Yeah, welk. So pretty much, this just skips the letters. It starts at the fifth letter. So you might want to put this at 1 so it types out the whole text. Unless you don't want it to type out the whole text, then well, yeah. So as you can see, it says, welcome to the game, new coming soldier. Here we train to fight. So I'm just going to make this a little bit quicker. Then if you want to make multiple, like, effects to keep changing the text, you can do stuff like a delay. So you can do, like, wait 3 seconds. After that's done, our typewriter effect, text label. 
and then whatever text are you ready to start training y slash n because um i guess i can add a button or something i don't know it's really up to you on what you want to do with this welcome to the game new coming soldier here we train to fight it's gonna wait a few seconds are you ready to start training yes or no and if you would like to like create a let's say optimize mm, what how could i put this an optimizable typewriter effect or like let's say you want to display it here let's I'm not sure i would say it. so you can press a button and it'll start typing the text at whatever speed you set it to and whatever text you set it to then you can do that simply by just i'm just gonna put this at the top you want to insert a text box i'm gonna put this text box down here i'm just gonna scale it and i'm gonna make its default text called mm, let's say message to send then you can just duplicate that actually first you want to rename this to message to send duplicate it speed to send at so i'm just gonna write wpm to send at if you don't know what wpm means it's pretty much words per minute now i don't have the best calculation for this but i'll show you real quick what i do have then you want to add your text button so it's just gonna be you can rename this to type i'm just gonna name this text to type message so if you have the typewriter effect already in your label drag it out and put it into your type well or your type text button so the first thing we're going to do is redo our um brevi uh, variable up here we're going to script our parent our parent dot label because we want to get the label so the script's parent is type and the parent of that screen gui and then label is in that screen gui so that's how we can get it from there now we want to get the text that we want to type so local text to type equals script dot parent dot parent dot message to send well type message same thing and then we can get one more variable you don't well i didn't make this variable last time but let's do local speed to send at equals script dot parent dot parent dot speed to send that we're pretty much just getting it the same way each time so now what we want to do is we can we're gonna set change the speed here so let's just real quick you can remove whatever delay you have in the wait now we're gonna do a little bit of math it's not probably not that accurate but it's the only way that i found that actually looks good so 60 seconds is one minute and we want to get words per minute so we're gonna divide this by the um so we're gonna divide this by the text or the speed to send that text so when you insert a number, we're just going to do it that way. So let's real quick do text to type dot text. Or actually not text to type, my bad. It's speed to send that dot text. Because we just want to get that text. And then I divided it by 10 at the end. Because it seemed to be a bit better. So let's... You know what, let's change this up a bit. In your speed to send that, press the plus and insert a, let's do a number value. Let's rename this to typing speed. Now you want to, instead of doing dot text, you want to do speed to send it dot typing speed dot value. So we're going to get that value. And now this script, you can just leave this down here for a bit because we can move that back up later. So now what we want to do is script dot parent dot mouse button one click to connect function. Pretty much what this is, oh, I just got here. So pretty much what this is doing is once the mouse button one clicked is pressed, so pretty much your left mouse button is pressed, then it's going to run whatever script is inside of here. So you can go ahead and cut your text label into here. And I'm gonna remove this part. You also might want to change this to you to change the text part 
to text to type since you want to type the selected type inside of the text box so now let's do speed to send at the typing speed dot value equals and then we're going to do to number because we want to convert this string into a number and then we're going to do speed to send that dot text so pretty much we're going to be converting the text or the string value into a number value using to number so we can actually set it to our number value so now let's go ahead and give this a try hopefully i managed to explain that in a manner that you can understand it let's just quickly give this a launch so let's type in a message to send this is a testing message i would like sent or shown above in the text label then you insert your speed so I'll just do 100 and press type message but oh, we seem to have gotten an error for I pairs wait attempt to get length of an instance value of an instance oh my bad okay so make sure when you do text to type you want to do dot text because you want to get the actual text of the text label not the instance so let's launch that in once again. Sorry for that little error. So this is a message I would like sent above in the text label. Let's do speed 100 and send message. This is a message I would like sent above in the text label. There you go. I can make this 25 and I can make this. This is another thing I want up there. Press send message. As you can see, this is definitely slower than last time is another thing while it's typing I guess I can do like this is just a bunch of spam and I can set this to 200 and as you can see that is quite quick so what happens if we let's try 500 yeah, it gets limited because sometimes the speed can't get that fast so yeah that's pretty much how you can create a text slit or create a typewriter effect for your dialogue or whatever you're creating it for so hopefully this video helped you oh that's a glitch and yeah goodbye